Okay, so what do I, how do I think about that strategic plan? Number one, it requires a statement that gay sex is morally good. All right, so here's the thing. How do we do it in a way that's strategically smart? And on this, I'm drawing from a project that I launched this past June called Workplace Flexibility 2010. Okay, the goal of the project is to change the face of the American workplace so that people can better integrate their personal lives and work lives through flexible, accommodating workplaces. Okay, that's the goal. Small, minor, right? What do you think? A few years? <laughs> right? I mean, the idea is we want to change the American workplace and we want to revolutionize social norms. This takes hard work and it takes funding. It takes someone to whom you're responsible to for the funding to actually come up with that plan. So I think we need the same effort with regard to LGBT rights using the weapons of moral values. And I think this effort has to happen alongside the current effort, which is using the weapons of equality. It should not supplant that effort. It should supplement it. It should complement it. And I think the second track has to be based on the following principles. One, moral values are important to a healthy society. Two, intimate relationships between individuals and in family structures are critical moral and political units that can create a healthy society. And I credit this to the UCLA Center that I was visiting on Friday. Three, it's the government's responsibility to nurture these moral and political units. Four, People in opposite sex relationships and people in same sex relationships equally embody this moral good and equally deserve support from public policies. Okay, so a subset of this would be gay sex is just as good as heterosexual sex, right? And also gay people, just like straight people, are more than just about sex. And five, our current public policies undermine the moral and political unit of same-sex couples and families, and that's a moral wrong that needs to be rectified. So here's my bottom line. There is a war that needs to be fought. And it's not a war overseas where we're killing people in the name of liberating them. It is a war right here at home where we need to convince people that morality demands full equality for gay people.